Joint costs. Topic four and the last video, accounting for byproducts. When a byproduct is produced, there are two methods to account for it. These are the production by byproduct method and the sale by product method. The sale by product method is rare and not viewed as being rational as the production by by product method. Uh, that is because um, if you think about it like this, because a byproduct is sort of the thing that is left over as a result of the main product or products, the joint products, you didn't set out with intention to make it. It just kind of happened. You would never go out to intentionally make a byproduct. So you can kind of think of it like a little bit of refund, any kind of income that it generates. And what is it a refund for? Well, it's a refund against the costs that went in to create the main product or the joint products. So with that in mind, think of it like negative costs and I think you'll be good to go when calculating it with this default method, the production by product method. Let's look at an example. Imagine a company that produces one product and that has a byproduct. Let's use a company, Good Friends Coffee Co., that produces coffee beans. The coffee beans are removed from plants and are the main product. And the remaining portion of the plant is sold off as animal feed and is of relatively low value. This company spends a million dollars producing 500 tons of coffee, which sell for $27,000 a ton, and 7,000 tons of plant matter is sold off for $21 a ton. Quite the difference. All right, let's break out our Excel and see how we're going to calculate it. I invite you to use your intuition if you want to think of it like a little mini refund and see if your number matches my number and if your rationale matches mine. All right, so here's our question. We have costs of $1 million uh, that's going to get us to our 500 tons of coffee. Uh, so we're, from that, I'll just write it down. We get 500 tons of coffee and we get 7,000 tons. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's the American way of saying it. You know what, mm, we'll just do one of each and um, and just split the difference. Oh, no we don't, we'll just match the question that we wrote earlier. Okay, 7,000 tons of plant matter. Okay, and from here, our coffee will sell for $27,000. A ton. Oops. And <laughs> gotta go book spin class. <laughs> uh, $27,000 a ton. And this is gonna sell for $21 a ton. So, how do I know this is a product uh, and a byproduct other than because I told you in a previous slide? Well, this huge differential. Would you ever go out when you are having this cash cow of a product? All right, spins booked, dog stop barking. <laughs> this is the real life class stuff, all right. Or the real life uh, async at home, um, yeah, real life stuff. Okay, <clears throat> so where are we? We are just kind of taking an eyeball. So even if I didn't tell you this is the product and this is the byproduct, you should know. This is like, this is professional judgment 101. Um, as an aside, I once had a student or candidate CPA ask me to just Friggin' teach him professional judgment already. <laughs> and I, I absolutely empathize um, with that. Um, but this is how we learn professional judgment. We put ourselves in scenarios where we, you know, have to make these judgments for ourselves. We can just say, okay, if something is 27,000, oh, pardon me, 21 uh, divided by 27,000. Um, if something is, oh gosh, and it gets to the, you know, the nth of the, the um, it's small. Like, it is ridiculously small. Let's even just, my apologies for this little mini tangent. I just want to bring and teach some mini uh, professional judgment. Again, if it's less than 1%, it's a byproduct. You won't be going out there intentionally to make this plant matter. It's there. Uh, it has some value. You'll absolutely take a little mini refund on it. And what are you going to do with that little mini refund using the production byproduct example? 
Well, you'll take what you can get, which is the 7,000 times by <laughs> Uh, times by the twenty-one dollars, which is uh one thousand uh one hundred thousand uh one hundred forty-seven thousand dollars, and you will simply remove that from the total costs and such that you are left with net manufacturing costs. So this was cost before. This is net manufacturing costs. So you just kind of remove it like a little mini refund. In fact, that's not so mini. That's actually a pretty decent little refund there. All right, with that knowledge in place, let's go back to the MCQs. A food manufacturer that produces frozen fish meals creates a single product, breaded fish fillets. The fish arrive at the facility in large blocks, yum, where it is cut up. The small pieces that are usable, uh, unusable, or fall off are accumulated and sold as low-value fish food. 800,000 is used to produce 19,000 kilograms of breaded fish, which sell for $42.11. 1,000 kilograms of byproduct, I love how we're just telling you, <laughs> are produced, which sells for $4 per kilogram. What is the net manufacturing cost of the main product? Is it A? 800,090, B, 800,000, C, 724,000, or D, 796,000. I invite you now to pause the video and give it a go on your own and see how well you do. Talk soon. All right, so the key here is, is that we have $800,000 in total manufacturing costs. And then we want to see, because we're very explicitly said, the byproduct sells, the byproduct are those little fishy pieces, and they sell for $4 per kilogram. So we have $4 per kilogram, and how much do we receive? Uh, we have 1,000 kilograms of byproduct. And remember, think of this like a little mini refund. It wasn't intentional, but goodness, we will pick up those pennies and we will offset our manufacturing costs absolutely freaking tootly, which is why D is our correct answer here. All right, you guys did wonderful. Thank you for sticking with me. I decided to leave in the dog barking, the spin alarm going off, a couple of pauses and extra ums and ahs. Uh, it is Monday morning. Uh, hopefully that is hashtag relatable. I hope your March is going amazing. Uh, mine is lots of things on the horizon. And uh, most of, importantly, I've been talking with more and more of you during my office hours, which have been absolutely lovely. So thank you. A uh, quick email here, office hours there. Um, and if not, know that I am here and you'll be providing you with more videos, maybe with more or less kind of types of and whoopsies uh, and human element going forward. Thanks guys. You rock. Bye.